for what is good with y'all, man. It's crunch time. Hit the like if y'all join in. Uh, just more um ether for this man LeBron James career that I'm about to break down for y'all. Uh, so basically, man, they then the ask Adam Silver now. Uh, they didn't um basically what's it called? They didn't uh ask Adam Silver the um million dollar question. Uh, you know, on who he basically has as the greatest player of all time. And Adam Silver responded by literally saying that he has Michael Jordan. And he said, quote, and I quote it. He said, don't tell LeBron I said that. So I'm going to, he said that word for word out of his mouth. So I'm going to now play the footage on what, um, Adam Silver said, and I also want to play what the last commissioner said after that, uh, David Stern. Who is your coach? Who is your player and best player of all time? And then don't tell LeBron I said that. Who is your coach? Who is your player and best player of all time? He said, Michael Jordan, don't tell LeBron I said that. Now, this is uh, just goes to show that basically both commissioners of the NBA in recent history, Adam Silver and David Stern, both basically say that LeBron James is not the greatest player of all time, but the NBA is pushing him as that. And I actually have both of this on. Hold on, where is that? Hold on, bro. Oh, I got that shit. It's probably on this phone. Uh, one second. So now I will show you what David Stern said. Basically, that LeBron James is nowhere in this co- uh in this conversation. The league where Kobe sort of ranks in, in in the pantheon of great players. I think it's uh. Well, let's let let's sort of take Bill Russell out of it. Okay. <laughs> With his eleven rings. Okay. You know, uh, uh-huh. I'll tell Russ when I see him in the finals that I I no disrespect, man. We just uh-huh. uh, he's in a different class, but but to me, Kobe is is there with Michael. Really? Wow. And uh, and if you saw that shot, the what the thank it went by and patted Alvin Gentry mm-hmm. I'm saying how did he do that it's not possible <laughs> it wasn't possible but he did it with uh, with somebody sort of hanging on him and I do mean hanging mm-hmm. he, is, he has the capacity through his will and determination which of course is accompanied by his his intense conditioning and his incredible skill uh, to to do what has to be done as part of and for the team to do what has to be done but that's david stern and that's adam silver that both you know basically put michael jordan as the greatest and you know uh, excuse me uh david stern puts kobe right there in that category so yeah uh exactly israel i guess adam silver casual too now you're not gonna believe adam silver but adam silver the one that basically been doing everything lebron been asking for like setting up the in-season tournament and doing all these gimmicks you know having a bubble to help lebron out and he still don't think he's the best but um yeah man just goes to show y'all man it's y'all god nobody's respecting this man this man's legacy is coming down it's crumbling down right before our very eyes man um you know, I think Stephen Curry is next in line to get into that elk, you know what I'm saying, that realm of players because of the, his aura, his 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 no excuse mentality. Uh you know what I'm saying to you, dog. He said he had a great front office. LeBron had a great front office too. LeBron had multiple front offices. Right? LeBron James had what he wanted when he went to Miami. They have winning culture, heat culture. You over there with Pat Riley, right? So this is who Magic and him had in the locker room, Pat Riley. You they gave you the greatest shooter of all time in Ray Allen. They you had a great team, you had the best team in the league, and he still left. So that's on him. He still left. Like why are you you can't complain about not having the front office and then when you get the front office you leave. So you don't know what you want. You like a little girl. 
then the first time everybody keep on complaining about the first time he was in Cleveland. Okay, well, cool. Well, if Cleveland was so bad of a franchise and so bad of an organization, why you go back? Why would you go back? If I'm with a girl, and I'm and all I'm doing is complaining and saying that she's not good for me, she don't do nothing for me. I'm giving her everything I got and not getting nothing out of it. Then I break up with her, right? Go to a place to where South Beach, and I got everything I want, and she's doing everything for me. Why would I now leave and go back to the old girl? You know, you at some point you got to look in the mirror and blame yourself. You're going to say, oh, because D-Wade knees gave out. So, bro, so, but look, Kyrie Irving, now you go to team up with Kyrie Irving and, and, he, and he injured his knee in the finals. So, you, your, your, your uh, demons is going to always catch up with you. You understand what I'm saying to you? Then Kyrie Irving leave, now Kyrie leave, and now you're trying to bring D-Wade back. And so, now I, so now I broke up with my old girl, get with a new girl. The new girl leave me. Now I'm going back to the old girl. It's like you can't make up your mind. Right. Then you get a new girl in AD. And somehow everything his fault too and everything is going bad. Now it's his fault too. So it's everybody else's fault but yours. Oh, I played this team. They got too much on it. Oh, 07, it was too much for me. Oh, uh, 2011, we didn't have enough. 2014, it was, it was too much for me. I didn't have enough help. 2015, oh, the, oh uh, Stephen Curry is too much. I didn't have enough help. 2017, oh, the Warriors is too much for me. But that's when you had everybody, everything you need. And you played KD before. This ain't nobody you ain't played before. 2018, oh, like, come on, dog. Every single year is a new excuse, man. We not doing it no more. Adam Silver not falling for it no more, dog. You can't respect it. It's terrible. It's utter nonsense. You know what I mean? It's utter nonsense, dog. Yo, you said you wanted to come up. You're not sending a request. You know, it's just, it's just utter nonsense, fam. Uh, LeBron James had about a hundred. Look at all of the look at all of the people LeBron done played with. You know what I mean? You said so. Jordan doesn't have excuses in the ten years he didn't reach the finals. Nope, he don't have no excuse for that. Right? Because whatever the reason is that you feel as though you can't win in no years, whenever you get better, you can't go back to the same excuse no more. So Jordan, when he was losing in the 80s, he was just, he knew he had to get better. And then once he got good enough to win with that squad, he didn't go back to losing again. To the point to where now he can, you know, just move the goalposts and say something else. No, he got better. He put it on himself. He put it to where all the accountability was going to be on him. So that you know, so therefore, like, he is he is in control of whether they win or lose. You said, uh, can I join up? No, bro. I mean, yes, bro. You got to send a request. You know what I mean? All you got to do is request it. You know what I mean? Somebody said, you talking like Joy won all them games by himself. He won it without another superstar. You can't name one superstar that Jordan played with. Scotty Pippen getting drafted to the team. If you already got a franchise guy, and then you draft a um, and then you draft somebody like Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen wasn't drafted as a superstar, cause back then you would draft one superstar, and then once you got your franchise guy, everybody else you drafted is is to uh be complimentary dudes around him. Pippen wasn't a superstar. He was never meant to be a superstar. The only time that you had superstars in the league. At first was when he was on their own team, especially if it was the same draft class. I mean, this man LeBron teaming up with the uh somebody else from his draft class. And then somebody said Robin. Robin was never a superstar, bro. Y'all understand Robin played for the Pistons at first when he was beating Michael Jordan. So if y'all gonna say the Bulls was a super team, then that means that you gotta say the Pistons was a super team, because Dennis Robin was on the Pistons too. And the Pistons had way more scoring on it than the Bulls did. But y'all don't even really think like that. Y'all not really paying attention to what y'all talking about. The pit the uh what's your face? The um Pistons had Dennis Robin first. So why nobody talk about Dennis Robin on the Pistons? He was better when he was on the Pistons. 
He was a better player. So, and he wasn't a superstar then. All of a sudden, he a superstar when he, like, 36 years old on Chicago. Like, come on, fam. Y'all not making sense. It don't even make sense. And guess what? If the Pistons is a super team, now y'all got to take out the fact. Now y'all got to go back on when y'all said Jordan never played a super team. Or, you know, the competition. Or he never beat a super team. Because that means he'd have been... He was losing to a super team every year, just like LeBron, quote unquote. But he didn't have no superstar with him. So, somebody said, I make no sense. So, what doesn't make sense about that? Dennis Rodman was on the Pistons in his prime when he was in his best years. And when he was on the Pistons, nobody ever said that he was a superstar. So, how did he all, how do you automatically turn to a superstar in 96 when he was almost out of the league? It's simple. Like, can't nobody answer that question for me, dog. Y'all sad people. I wanted a LeBron fan to come up here. Because dude's in the, um... Because dude was trying to basically say that I was yapping. But they be scared, bro. They getting scared now. Somebody said superstar team. Somebody tell me. Jordan, like, the best draft classes in history, right, in the NBA is probably the 84 draft class. It's probably the uh, 96 draft class. And then I'll say, what, uh, the 2003 draft class. So LeBron is teaming up with the other dudes in that draft class, though. That's So now you got to understand, what if Jordan would have teamed up with his draft class, the 84 draft class? So y'all, be, like, y'all make it seem like y'all don't see the main difference. Y'all want to sit here and talk about Jordan teamed up with Superstar. He didn't team up in his draft class like LeBron did. Like, LeBron can't do nothing with just regular, like, with just a regular team. You know? You said Pippen played on Superstar teams. Yeah, Pippen, after the Bulls, he went to go play with Hakeem and them, and they ain't win nothing. Somebody said, who cares when they were drafted? No, I'm saying this shows that you're playing with other Superstars. You playing with the uh, top four, uh, top four to five dudes that was in the draft class, that all was destined to be superstars coming in the league. You know, why are you doing that? So, at what point in time can you just, why are you doing that and then turning around and trying to take all the credit? Y'all was all on stage together. If Wade already won a ring first and he's and he's putting you on, at what point do you just surpass him? And then not only surpass him, you surpass everybody. Yep, um, Adonis, this is true. Uh, he said, quote, the, the man asked Adam Silver, he said, uh, and this is on sideline sources on Instagram. I don't know if everybody has Instagram. And Adam Silver said, uh, yep, he said, Michael Jordan. And he said, don't tell LeBron I said that. Yeah, the dude that just sent that request, I'll try to let you up. Where you go? See, I'm trying to get a LeBron fan on here, man. Like, Yeah, he said, don't tell LeBron I said that, man. So, And it actually surprised me because Adam Silver pushes a lot of LeBron James rhetoric. And like I said, he caters to LeBron. He he um, he um basically is doing everything LeBron asked him to do, like creating the in-season tournament, the, the, the uh, play-in tournament making the bubble so he can get another, you know, ring. And he still has Jordan. You know what I mean? He still has, you said they changed the rules for Jordan. They changed the rules for LeBron too. They changed the rules for LeBron James because they took out the hand check. Before the hand check, LeBron wasn't averaging 20 points a game. Then after the, then afterwards, that's when he started averaging 20 points a game. He said, so what's your point then? So either way, Jordan accomplished more. That's what LeBron fans got to realize is that either way, Jordan accomplished more with less. He said, so, he said as long as you got LeBron ranked over KD, I don't care where, where you rank LeBron. He said, how does Adam Silver's opinion tarnish LeBron's legacy? Because if LeBron is the quote-unquote face of the league and the narrative that they've been pushing for the face of the league is that he's the greatest player of all time and then the commissioner comes out. Yo. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, Unc? 
Alright. I need to talk about something, bro. Listen. I listen, I love LeBron, bro. He's my sunshine. I get it. But here's the thing. Now, if we're being honest, right? Michael Jordan played 14 years. Okay. Uh, how long has LeBron been playing? Like 20? 30? Mm. 20? Yeah, 20. His career is older than me, bro, and he doesn't have as much rings as Jordan. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so 20 years, and he still hasn't accomplished what Michael Jordan did in 14. Listen, bro, LeBron, listen, he's he's definitely top two. I'm just got to put no, Michael Jordan up that. there. But I see what you're saying, though. I see what you're saying, but the, see the thing, the thing is, is this right? He doesn't have as many rings as Jordan, but he doesn't. He also doesn't have as many rings as Kobe. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, right, I'm so not saying keep... rings define greatness. No, I ain't saying, saying that. I'm just saying because if if we're gonna rip accolades and Bill Russell is the best, we're not player talking about time. accolades though. No, I'm not talking about rings at this point. I'm. My main reason is generations were different though. Because think about it, bro. Michael Jordan. And not even just Michael Jordan. You, there was like beginners, like bench warmers that were put in for like a second getting body slammed for just simple layups or a pass. You know what I mean? You got, play, hold on. You got players doing that nowadays. Yeah, but it doesn't Taylor compare. Hood Tucker, hold on, I just showed it. Taylor Hood and Tucker got subbed in for like 59 seconds and then got subbed out. No, nah, it's not about subbing out. I'm talking about like the injuries that occurred though. There was way more like, not injuries, but there was it was way more aggressive. Back then, it was hard to get shot off. It was way more aggressive, definitely. But hold on, yo. So, so Sid, so why? You, so, what's your uh, gripe with the uh, tape right now? What's your what's your issue? Uh, the only reason MJ has more rings is because he has less competition. It's a different okay. time. You said there he had less competition. There were less teams. But yeah. Hold on, so, hey, yo. So, so do you? Do you so, do you think Larry Bird is top ten all time? Yeah. You got yeah. Larry Bird over KD all time. I mean, just out of respect, yeah, but I mean, if I was to take one right now, I'm taking KD. Why would you take him? Because he's just, bro, I'm I'm tired of that air getting hyped up, bro. Like, bro, you give me heat, LeBron, I'm saying, I'm like, you said, LeBron. Oh, oh, so just because you're tired of it? Just I'm not tired taking of Larry Bird over Kevin Durant, bro. So, all right, so, 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 all right, so I see now that you basically just using all, <laughs> I'm saying you're using all the motion. So how are we supposed to go off what you say? Wait, what did you say? You just using your emotions right now. How are you supposed to go off what you say? No, I'm not. I mean, I can. Yeah, man. It's like, like I said, hey, yo, thank you, uh, 18, for coming up, dog. It just like I said, man. These dudes, man. I don't understand it. I try to let the dude Rico up. Um, I don't understand it, man. These people just, just like literally, just not making sense to me, dog. We need to get some. Um, I need to get some more one on one fans. I mean, some uh, some more uh, one on one Brown fans up here, dog. What up? Yo. This league is. I can't watch this league today. I, I can't do it. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Um, I'm saying. Oh, so you got Jordan? I got definitely Jordan. Yeah, hey, Rico, who you got? <clears throat> I got Jordan over Brown, man. Hey, so we might as well just open up the panel. It's just all Jordan fans are dating. How about that? You but, know what I mean? Let's just do but that. But look though, who you got out of who you got out of uh Bron and KD? I got Bron. Man. You got uh, okay. I got Bron over KD too, bro. bro. That's the you see. I, see, I never cross the line. I, I never, you know what I'm saying. I never go that uh, far. Put him, put KD. Okay, who you got out of Kawhi and KD? Oh, you nasty. <laughs> That's the thing about it. It don't Stop matter what look, LeBron Look, listen, does. Kawhi got more Hall of Famers under his belt than KD do as far as beating people in the finals. Kawhi beat more Hall of Kawhi Famers beat. in the finals than KD. Facts. KD on, only beat Facts. one Man, Hall of Famer in the That's finals. That's true, though. Hold on, yo. But hold on. I want to see I want to see what everybody... Basically, we got DA on, on the panel. We got J2, man. And we got uh him Duncan, man. I want to hear what y'all. What do y'all? I think him Duncan a LeBron fan a little bit, but basically DA man. Let me hear what you got, man. I want to take about Adam Silver. I'm after DA. Man, first, bro. Uh, first and foremost, man. Shout out to everybody on the panel. Hey, I, I appreciate you uh, letting me rap on this, bro. I've been saying this, man. <laughs> Michael Michael Jordan is in the class of his own. Yeah, let me read that. Kobe Kobe Bryant is the gatekeeper to Michael Jordan. 
And then whoever y'all want to put third, I mean, I got my own list per se, but I'm speaking purely from the game of basketball. I don't care how many media awards you get given to you versus the guys who earn them. Strip away all of those awards, go to the park and say, okay, if I can't take Michael Jordan, who is my next pick? Kobe Bean Bryant. Facts. If I can't get him, who is Facts. my next pick? I'm taking Hakeem the Dream Elijah one. Okay? So Adam Silver just confirmed everything that we've been on this app saying on a daily basis. Now, if somebody disagrees, perfectly fine. You're entitled to that. But just don't <laughs> sit here and try to tell us things that goes against our intelligence. That's the only thing I got for that, man. I'm going to pass the mic. <laughs> I mean, that's the oh, thing about boy, it. Man. Adam, Adam, uh, that's his name, Adam Silver, right? Yeah. Adam Silver is right, bro. LeBron Adam Silver is right, bro. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron James, James, you have so many holes. LeBron James, you have so many holes. In- My bad, Jay. I was trying to see where I had that echo. Okay. Uh, yeah, LeBron James, you got so many holes in your resume. When you do have help, you still choke. And it doesn't even matter anymore because... You will never catch up to Jordan. <laughs> but the <laughs> fact is that Jordan years. won all of his championships on one team. I, I'm not done talking, bro. Uh, but anyway, uh, Le- LeBron James, you, you, you're not even that good to keep it a buck. You can't lead your team to the promised land. You have to join other people to win rings, bro. You have to join a winner to become one, bro. And you was a chosen one. That's straight cap, bro. <laughs> you have never showed us that you can be a leader on a championship team without having to join a... A finals MVP to win, bro. A finals MVP. So, so you all that all that longevity stuff is okay, but uh, that should equal to more championships and you choked out of all the people in the top ten. He had the most help out of everybody in the top ten too, bro. That's what I'm Not saying. You still got less rings. That's just pathetic. So it don't matter if you have help or you don't help. You're gonna choke regardless. LeBron <laughs> never got outshined though. He's still LeBron, are you kidding me? LeBron yeah. always got outshined. Yeah, outshined in 2011. LeBron, I'm about to say that too. Wait, wait. Do you think LeBron, LeBron had to play a lot on. more games to get those hold points? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the, you, stats. Look think, at the wait, stats. Wait, 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 wait. Do you think LeBron was the best player in 2014? I'm talking about watching the game. Don't give me no stats. Watch the game. I'll give him one year <clears throat> as being the best player. I'm not going to take one year away sir. from LeBron. Sir, sir, I'll give him one year. Sir, an MVP. sir, 2014 in the finals. When you watched that series, he was the best player from your eyes. Cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going to take that away from him. I'm not saying that's not true. And I'm not saying that he didn't have any glory in his career. Kawhi sir, Leonard was the best player I'm in the 2014 finals. The best both sides player of the ball. In the 2014 the finals. Yeah, no stats. I'm talking about watching the game for game. Watching the game, Kawhi Leonard was the best player on the court in the 2014 finals, both sides of the ball. Yo, also in 2017, hey, look, in 2011, it was Dirt. In 20, or uh, Wade or Dirt. In 2017, it was KD. What's that got to do with LeBron legacy, though? Well, how do you define the best player? Who makes the winning shot? To me, the person that seals the deal, LeBron. the one that makes who the said, play, the, said, the wait, big play. Wait, who said winning shot? Who said that? Who said winning shot? You a Damn. LeBron fan, Dan? No, I'm not nobody, a nobody on this panel. No, nobody on this panel said that. We're talking about the but, guy you you visibly seen with your own two eyes, able to dictate the flow of the game. Whenever their team were, were struggling, he could get them out of a bind. Whenever they needed a big play, whether it be a rebound, a defensive stop, a deflection. He was, he was not the one. No, that's not true. LeBron was the one you couldn't count on. He was he was the one you couldn't count on. Yeah, you know, he going to get some wow. Dan, yeah, yeah, damn. You want to tell, okay, so Ray Allen and Kyrie Irving and Christian Chris Bosch made the plays that gave him that ring. Sir, LeBron sir, did sir, not sir, make the plays that gave him. No, sir, he did not. Did you, sir, did you, did you just repeat everything that I said, or did you just say two or three things that I said? Because I gave you a significant well, amount of information. No, nah, I think y'all agree. Oh, okay. The moment okay. he beat the greatest team of all time in 2016, the 73 yeah. and I Warriors. Oh, I remember when Kyrie Irving. Hang on, hang on. I remember when Kyrie Irving made that. Hold on, NDA, you was getting Dan and Nathan uh, mixed up. That's what it is. I was trying to figure out that too because it's Nathan that's jumping in defending LeBron. Oh, oh yeah, I'm about to. I want to say yeah. one thing about Kyrie. Hang I'm on, I'm defending my boy, King. I'm about to fry. I remember when Kyrie Irving made that winning shot. Hang on, when 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 Kyrie made that winning shot for the Cavaliers. It was amazing, but Kyrie, you look at his face, and he's like, "Now LeBron's gonna get all the all the gravy for it." And he didn't stay. He didn't want to stay on LeBron's team because he didn't. You could tell that when that all went down, LeBron was the one that was praised. Kyrie didn't even really get any credit for that, even though he made the shot that mattered. 
Yo, Nathan, what you said that. before? What you said before, Nathan? I said, I said, uh, he became the goat as soon as he came back in 2016. Why he ain't do it the next year? And please don't say Kevin Durant. He was down three one. What do you mean? It's because. What do you? Of course, it was because of, because of Kevin Durant. What do you mean? So Kevin Durant is better. Yeah. No, but that's a super team, bro. That's literally a super team. So Kevin, so Kevin, so Kevin Durant. Team. So if Kevin Durant, Kevin, so Durant Kevin Durant is more dependable when it really matters in LeBron. That's true. He's more dependable when it really matters in LeBron. That bro, Nathan. Kevin Durant. I, yo, not true. So, so, so if it takes Kevin That's Durant to beat LeBron, so fun. Kevin Durant is better than KD's LeBron. He's not dependable. Hold on, hey, Crunch. Bro, KD, KD lost to LeBron in 2011. What do you hey, mean? Crunch. Hey, Crunch, you can hear me? Yeah. Uh, all right, so who said that LeBron became the GOAT after uh, Nathan, 2016? Nathan, huh? Friday's this man. Oh, man. So, I, I, ba ba based on what, though? Because we're, we're in LeBron's squad. That's his 13th season at that point. So what did he do in those 13 seasons compared to the 13 seasons Michael Jordan had on Michael Jordan had on the Bulls? What did he do to show you that he was greater than him all time? Um, Everywhere he went, he, he was great. He... Also, just had like different different times of like greatness everywhere he went. Like, <laughs> like he became he became the goat on like it. three different teams for three different for, for three different franchises, bro. Oh, uh, that's what you mean. So, hold so on. So, so, once again, he went to Miami. Again, hold on, he went to it, Miami, bro. So once again, in Miami, that's, he was, that's the point. That's the point we're getting at. Team. He went to Miami. He went to Miami to put himself in a more advantageous situation. By joining up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, and I don't knock him for that. There's nothing wrong with him doing that. But since we're having a GOAT conversation, Michael Jordan didn't have to do that to, to get over the hump. And the fact of the matter is, is that when he first went there his first year, he flamed out. He didn't even win his first year with that team. Right. So once again, when you bring up him going to Miami, that's an advantage. He's putting himself in, you know, to give him a better chance to win. And he still did not win. Michael Jordan didn't leave his team to join up with other star players to win. He was able to just get over the hump. LeBron well, James did not win. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. LeBron James did not win a championship until his ninth season in his career. By that time in Michael Jordan's career, he was three peating. So once again, I need to know what he did in his first thirteen years to prove he was a better overall player than Michael Jordan. Nothing, absolutely nothing. He was well, RIP for this dude. At, he was he was better at the start of his career. He took a bunch of plumbers to the finals in, in his first day. Oh, that's the thing about it. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Hold on, Nathan. Go ahead. you talk, brother. Go ahead. Nobody saying nothing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So what I'm saying is the organization failed LeBron because they couldn't build around him. His his best player was Big Z. Let me let me get him. He went to the. He went to the finals with a bunch of plumbers. And then he went to Miami to prove that he's the best player in the world, which he went you. back to back. And then, yeah, I mean. Uh, okay, so, so, he went, so he went, he had, a, he had a better start in his career, even though I just broke down that Michael Jordan was able to get over the hump faster than him with the original team he was drafted to and did not have to team up with any players on the level of a, of a Dwayne Wade, especially that first year he joined up with him to win. And even that first year, again, he still didn't win. You just said that LeBron James got to the finals with a bunch of plumbers. What the hell does that say about the Eastern Conference if he's able to do that? Because, again, they were the second seed in their conference. They beat two 500 teams to get to the finals, that being the Wizards in the first round without Gilbert Arenas or Karan Butler, a 500 Nets team, and then they beat the Pistons, which is probably the only team I would give them a little bit of credit for. And even with that, they didn't even have Ben Wallace anymore. So how great was that run, bro? I mean, he still made it. Yeah, the but game my thing is, is when you added it, Ray Allen made a shot that you, kept them in that series. Brother, when you and that's, when you that's why it, they even had the oh, opportunity to go to the game. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. People forget hold that. Up, brother, hold up. <laughs> is that we, we run with this narrative. Yo, hold up one second, bro. We run with this narrative about LeBron in 07 getting to the finals with plumbers. I'm going to say this again. If that team is full of plumbers, hold Michael on. Curry. Hey, yo, 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 yo. yo. Hold Steph Curry on. made the plays. Clay Thompson made the plays. His brother probably can't hear. He must play. got bad service or something. He must can't hear, bro. Yeah, he's lagging. He must, is he, he must not be able to hear me talk. But anyways, though. That's the thing about it. 
anyways, like I was saying in 07, if we're going to run with the narrative that his team was full of plumbers, what does that make the conference he was in then? Because none of the teams he went against other than the Pistons are an elite level team. The teams he went against to get to the finals, one of them was a 500 team without the two of the three best players. The other one was just a regular 500 team. All right, wait, hold on. Here's my, here's my biggest argument in a GOAT debate. The, the gap between longevity between MJ and Braun is so much larger than Don't peak for peak. If you, go, if you go peak for peak for MJ and Braun, it's literally so close. You could go either way. But what makes Braun run away from it in the conversation is the fact that not only is his longevity so much greater. I got it, brother. But he had, he had different peaks, bro. In Miami, he was the best player in the world. 2018 LeBron was the best player in the world. He took J.R. Smith as his second option. Let him rock out, brothers. Let him rock out. Let, rock rock out. Let, this, let this man rock out and make his point. I got it, brothers. Thank you. Go ahead. And you won't tell me, and you can't tell me in a one-on-one, MJ won't beat uh, uh, Bron. Ain't no okay. way, bro. He would just... So again, again, hold up, hold up. Again. Michael Beasley beat him. What hold is up. he talking thank, about? Thank you, thank you, D.I. About to say... Kyrie Irving's beat him. Michael Beasley and Dwayne Wade have beat him. That's number one. So that that what you're saying right there is not really making any sense. Once again, the only thing you can hold you on to in this KD and LeBron go against each other. LeBron gets his little ass work. Hey, Mark, he's, he's still not answered great. your original what? question. I, I mean, well, you know what though? On some real shit, brother. That that's pretty much him admitting that he was wrong about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. So my my thing is going forward. The main thing you can hold on to in this conversation between LeBron and Michael Jordan is that. He's played longer because if we look at the numbers, no. if we look at the accomplishments, if we even look at the competition, I promise you, if we look at how many times either one of them got outplayed by an opposing player or a player on their same team in a playoff series, all those things are in favor of Michael Jordan. Every single one. Who has the most game winners of all time in the playoffs? It's LeBron. Has that. But that doesn't mean he's a better no, player. No, he's not. Dude, you're living I in a fantasy a world, player. bro. You're living in a fantasy world. No, listen, LeBron James has that. It's okay that when Nick, when people ask me a question, I can answer knowing that that has nothing to do with who's a better overall player, though. Yeah, Nathan capped out, man. Nothing. This dude don't have nothing to say, bro. Who's a better passer? Who's a better, who's a better rebound? Bro, we talk about who's better LeBron, than LeBron, him, bro. LeBron is a better player. Yo, LeBron is a better passer. Mission is debatable if he's a better rebounder. He's not a better scorer. Nope. The level of intensity he's on the defense for the length of time that Michael Jordan. Why he's not number one in assists? If he's the best passer all time, why he not number one in assists? LeBron is the best passer all time. Jordan is the best scorer. You reach him, bro. You reach him. You gotta hide. No, it's the thing is LeBron is a great pass, but I don't like. But I think Jordan got higher IQ. What? Hey, hey, Crunch. This man said LeBron's a better teammate. Like, based on what, bro? Jordan had the instinct so, uh, of a champion, dude. He knew how to, he knew how to move like nobody can move. You see the answers they give? LeBron's a better no, teammate. No, he's not. LeBron's a terrible he said, teammate. He said that. Yeah, he said that. What well, was his uh, argument? He said that. Better teammate. How are you a better teammate? Better he's not a better player. Scotty Pippen literally admitted that LeBron's the GOAT. Scotty Pippen said that. Scotty Pippen has vacillated for years about who the GOAT is. Nobody takes him seriously, brother. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, why his logic? Anthony right. Davis said Michael Jordan. Explain this. Explain this for a second, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain this for a second. Nathan, no, Nathan. I was in Chicago. Hey, that's a good question. That's a good question. Hold on, Nathan. 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 LeBron James got to run when things get hard. Dwayne Wade was already better than him the first couple years. LeBron don't take any responsibility for anything, so yeah, that, that's LeBron my issue with him. The ball to everybody else, he can't make LeBron the James is not an alpha. Hey, that's not in him. Hey, 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 yeah, bro. He said all, I mean, J. Cole yeah. said all good jokes contain true shit. I just want to get something off right quick, man. Hey, after uh, uh, Crunch, after last week, I was li- uh, just a little bit off topic, just a little bit. 
I was looking at your list and you had Curry uh and you had Curry number four. Number four. And, I, and I was like, damn, that's kinda that's kinda high. And but I fuck with you. And at the last night, me seeing Curry last night, I got Curry number four now. Yeah, I got so, I'm four. telling you, man. Yeah, and, that's and not I'm, it. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you my I'm, reasoning behind it. A uh, time and time again, we I'm keep seeing Curry number three. Curry, we keep seeing Curry. We keep seeing Curry do it. I mean, every time we keep seeing. It. I mean, what more do we need to keep seeing? Right. I, don't, I mean, uh, and what? and then on top of that, everybody yeah. always taking take a back, taking a back seat to it. And Curry team just beat Boston. And now they beat Dallas. So I mean, what are we saying here? You once know what I'm Curry, saying? I mean, what are we saying hey, about? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Hey, what's Curry is really real. I'm gonna say this. Hey, look, Steph can do so much more. Hey, look, one at a time. One at a time. I think Steph can do so much more with with less help than Brian, bro. And I'm just seeing it. Like you said, it's like it's like when you see what he's doing though. It's like that right there really is the most amazing thing that thing that. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Seen, you got an echo. I seen enough. I seen enough. It's like, yeah, like enough, just, it's like I seen enough, hey, man. Hey, Nobody can do what he's trying to get back in there, bro. Just Nobody do something, do something comparable to like 18 Braun, though. If we're talking about doing more or less so help. No, bro, but, but I'm saying, but 18 Braun, bro, Steph and Curry want to ring with a team like that. Different circumstances. Like, you can't really no, no, I ain't trying to hear that, bro. Because remember, he's a great team. You can't say hey, nothing about Steph. Steph didn't did it on every angle. Uh, you can't say Steph, nothing about exactly. Steph. Hey, Steph, Steph, Steph one step gets with Steph, 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 Steph ring, it's already over. One step gets Steph, Steph, Steph ring. You can't take nothing away from Steph. He's not hey, better hey, than Kareem. He's not better than Magic. He's not better than Bird, Jordan, Hakeem, Duncan, Shaq, Kobe. Nah, Steph, nah. See the thing. Keep the mark. This is the thing, though. Like. Not for, it, like for a handles dudes, and for man. shooting, yes, he is. Yes, Wait, hold on, yeah, hold on, he's not better overall. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. He is better overall because a lot, because a lot of them dudes didn't create no dynasty how Steph did, and even a dude like Kareem, man, you had to team up with two, um, you know, superstar point guards just to win. Him. I mean, I'm not trying to take nothing away from Kareem, but I think Steph, on, just by his lonesome, just off his ability alone, can do so much for you as a team, man. Like they didn't give him Buddy Hill, and it's looking like they about to go right back and be a contender again. So that's all he needs is like a second dude. You know what I mean? Everybody else is in the place. Some of them players like I named, though, they did create a, a, a legacy on their own team, though. Yeah, but I think Steph is extending it to where it four rings. And plus, the Warriors got to so many, like, like such high heights. Like, higher than. Hey, yeah, so, okay. Hey, so, but now like that, this, I got dude. one more thing I wanted to say, too, though, real quick. Okay, okay. My problem is, it's not really that. You're, by your logic, I did name some players, though, that actually do did come to their own team and establish their own as well. But my problem with Steph Curry is, again, is that I say this all the time. All those players I name, and literally all of them, probably other than Magic Johnson, in the championship runs they've had, they have been tasked to be the best player or at least arguably the best player on both ends of the floor for that team. And I'm so sorry, brother, but Steph Curry has never had that responsibility. Well, you said Magic. All. Magic wasn't the best player on both ends of the floor. And just, Steph Curry. No, Steph Curry. You just heard me say Magic. You just heard me say Steph Magic. I just said that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. yeah but look, yeah. Stephen Curry did lead the league in scoring and stealing at the same time. Yeah, but that's not the best defender on the team. Yeah, They're but like it goes to show, if he not even the best defender, and he doing that. He, he elite on both ends of the floor. So say it again. He not the best what? I'm saying he not even the best defender, like quote unquote. But he's yeah, still he, not the not, best defender. That's my point. But Tim Duncan wasn't the best defender either. three wasn't. Why not? No, uh, three, yeah, he definitely was in 0, I, 03, I, 05. Yeah, I think it depends. But 05, I can say that Manu is a better offensive player. Or uh, Tony Parker? Yeah, I think you could, but he has a run where he was both. Yeah, but no, but I'm saying what run, that run that he's doing that is not as long as Stephen Curry's run in general. Because Stephen Curry, I, 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 I take I like say, 03, like yeah. I think I think Steph as a player in general was better than, I mean, in 2016 and 2015 area, yeah. is, better, is better than Tim Duncan in 03 regardless. I'm not sure, bro. I can't, I can't say. But how can, I don't know. but I'm saying he's doing what he's, put, uh, hold on. I, Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My no, no, no. I actually want to let Diego. He was trying to say something. Go ahead, go ahead. My fault. I was just gonna say, like being realistic, I believe Tim Duncan was the best defender in '99, '03, and '05. I think he started it when, whenever Tim Duncan had that knee injury. That's when he started to kind of slow it down. And, I yeah, think and then he kind of like David Robinson. My bad. No, no. Okay, I mean that's cool. Was D Rob. I ain't gonna lie. If I was, right, Tim cool. Duncan was second. Tim Duncan was second though. 
Yeah, so I would say 03, 03, 05, like undoubtedly, he, you know, he was the anchor of the defense. He, he was the best offensive player, no doubt, in 03. Now, I think 05, I think Ginobili and Parker, they, they had a lot of, like, I would say offense created off Tim Duncan's, off his gravity. Like, I know they could get their own. I'm not saying they couldn't get their own offense. I know they can. But I'm saying with his presence out there, it allowed them to do more, if that makes sense. Like, if Duncan out on the floor, they probably not going to get those shots and those angles to create the offense at, at times, give or take. Well, DA, to so, be real, I think I think Crunch has a point when he says managing nobly. I think my point I'm getting at is that even in the years where Duncan may have not been the best offensively in 05 or the yeah. best defensively in 99, he's probably second on the team offensively in 05 and the best defensively. And he's the first yeah. best offensive player in 99 and the second best defensively. All I'm saying, it's not even a knock on Curry. He's probably like the fifth best defender on some of his championship teams he's been on. See, but I got I mean, Tim about, Duncan. Go, I got go Tim ahead. Duncan right behind Stephen Curry at number five. And the thing yeah. is, is Tim Duncan. I don't think his numbers lasted as long as Stephen Curry. Like Steph's still putting up his prime numbers right now. And I think Tim Duncan was done with his prime numbers at the like oh oh seven. Yeah, like oh seven. It kind of faded down a little bit. To, so to that's like ten. That's like ten years seven. of prime play, and you got Steph. What? How many years for him? I think no, but that's I think that's like eight years though prime play for uh for Timmy D. And matter of fact, he was all in the first year, so you could say his rookie year too. But I mean, yeah. I mean Stephen Curry though, I say he was in this prime for what eleven years, twelve years, or like eleven, 11 years. 12 years. So yeah, so crunch, I would say I would say like you saying Curry's offensive prime. I I'll give you that. I won't even argue that. But you can make the argument that Duncan was in his defensive prime as well, because I think if I'm not mistaken, was he not the oldest player to make all defensive first team? At like 36 uh, or 37? He might, have, he might have been. He might have been. Yeah, man. And, you know, he still had games, you know, where he was going off offensively a little bit. Like, yeah, just certain games. Yeah, like it wasn't it wasn't consistent. It's like, yeah, every every so often they needed him to put up like 27, 28. He could do it. Man, and I ain't going to lie. He do got can, you please, can you please bring Nathan back up so we can continue finding him real fast? But wait, wait, hold on, Mark. I wanted to say this, though. Hold up. <laughs> because he said, hold on. He said, he said that that Cavs was a bum team. I, I want to ask everybody on this panel. Do y'all would y'all call the 08 Lakers bums? Because they were fifth in defense. Would, would anybody on this panel say that? He's right here, DA. He's right here. 08 okay, Lakers? Baby. No. Yeah, the 08 Lakers. No, would anybody not. say would, would you say that's a bum team? No, obviously not. No. 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 Okay, so so wait, hold on, hold on. Explain this to me, Nathan. How are you going to say that the 07 Cavs were bums and they were better defensively in 07 than the 08 Lakers? Hmm. Yeah, Look, look, look. I started watching basketball in 2010. I, I, I didn't Anthony ask about this, right. sir. I, I can't no, even answer my question. He answered you, though. He answered you, though. He started watching in 2010. He don't know. He don't know. So how you know the 07 you know the team was bums? But they uh, wait a minute, but hold on, I got I gotta follow up. He said they know, hold on. The, the nigga don't know, bro. Don't yeah, know. no, I know he don't know, but wait, but hold on. But he said they bums, but they do you know Tim Duncan shot fifty four percent from the field in the regular season? Them same bums you talking about, no, they held he him to forty four percent shoot. He don't know none of that. That's what I'm trying right, to so say. That's all I was trying to ABA. Yeah, I'm trying to tell him the Spurs, I mean the Cavs played good defense on Tim Duncan. Man, that, no, no, no. Hold on, Crunch. Uh, Crunch. I got. I got to be hyperbolic. Crunch. They played generational defense on Tim Duncan in 2007. That's what they did. So no, yeah, we can't just like marginalize those guys like that. Generational. <laughs> that's that's their favorite. That's a Bron fan's favorite word. Hey man, let me say this. Let me say this. I am sick and tired of people talking about LeBron became the goat Cook. in 2016. Vegeta, Cook. Let me say this, bro. <laughs> that is one of the wildest wait, things wait, wait. you can say, period. It don't even got to deal with sports. How do you get your third ring and you jump to number one hey, all time? I'm Somebody saying, tell brother, me how that makes even I'm a little saying, bit of brother, sense. It don't make no fucking you surpass Kobe. You surpass Michael Jordan because you win your third ring? Somebody get this are man a beer. Are we serious? <laughs> man, y'all Bron fans are pathetic, bro. There is no way in hell this man jumped to number one all time for winning his third ring. I'm so done. Can you, nah, can you explain it, how uh, it, Mike was first all time? It just got to do with people. It got to do with the people who had LeBron top five before he even had a ring. Like, that, was a, that was a marriage <laughs> on ESPN. Like, bro, people had him top five. Hey, y'all, don't skip over Freddie. Hey, don't skip over Freddie, man, because I know I know Freddie. He got to hit Michael Wade. Fast show, fast hold on, imagine. imagine, imagine what's good, fellas? What's good? But hold on, imagine right after you said what show? They had people had LeBron James top five all time before he went to the league. 
Oh. LeBron James is going to be like top was, 20, dude. He's not even like the top 20. Niggas was saying that, bro. Bro, see, and that's, that's, that's what LeBron fans, that's what they do. So, they got to make it. I'm just going to respect it. If, 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 if people was LeBron. already on crazy time, it. So it's like, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, I'm not surprised. Yeah, let, let Nathan explain his points, though. He back up here. Go ahead. You talk your shit now, bro. I appreciate you, bro. So look. Imagine how different the landscape of the NBA would be today if the Warriors won in 2016. 73 and 9. 70 Kyrie, yeah, but Kyrie hit the shot, though. It don't matter about Kyrie hitting the shot, bro. Kyrie just w- was accomplishing uh, LeBron. He was just, he was just, you know, being so LeBron, his... So LeBron was just using Kyrie, basically. Hey, Crunch, I'm still waiting for this brother to break down while LeBron better. We yeah, haven't actually got yeah, an answer. He, he, he ain't even got an <laughs> he's just a more complete player, bro. He's got forty thousand points. He is not more, more complete. No, he is not. No, he is not. You have not broken okay. down nothing. It's succinctly saying he's better. You think, you think because a man has more points than another man over time that that makes him better? That that never has made somebody better, bro. If that's the case, you would have had Kareem over over Jordan and Will Chamberlain. Kobe. Hell, Carl uh, Malone. That don't. You got Carl Malone over MJ as a scorer. No, nah, we're, we're, no. Nah, you should have Will Chamberlain as your goal. No, <laughs> you giving us the stats. Hey, Nathan, is Carl Malone over Michael Jordan as a scorer? Is number two, or or even number one. But he no, Will Chamberlain should be number one. Why is he number, number two? No, no. Why is he because number Michael two? He should Jordan, be number Michael one. Michael Jordan was still all around better than Will. He was still all around better than Will. That's what made Michael Jordan number one is because he was the best all around player of all time. That's not only yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand team. Nathan's reasoning. I just want to know if Carl Malone is better than Michael Jordan as a scorer. That's yeah, based, I, based, off, based off Nathan. Yeah, yeah, based off, yeah, based off, his, based off his reason. Matter of yes fact, hold no, on, Nathan, Nathan. Nathan. Wait, wait, Nathan. Who better? <laughs> is Carmelo? Is Carmelo better than Hakeem? Nathan? No. What the fuck? Why, why not? Because Hakeem's more complete, and he actually oh, won the oh, ring. Oh, really? But Carmelo got more all-time points based off your logic. Interesting. That's not. That's not my logic. I just. <laughs> I just need. Oh, I just need overall. Need to bring it home, brother. Bring it home for us. I'm missing it. I just need. Look, Shit. MJ was ahead of his time, but we done with the nineties. No, 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 no. You're not no, done. You're done no, you're not. You're not done with I'm the nineties because no, you talk about the nineties every day. So be quiet. Hey, look, y'all. So Mark and DA. So Marshall. About the 90s. Yeah, Marshall said he wants smoke with y'all. Marcus All said he's going to try and uh, defend Nathan and, you know. I'm just people. confused on your yeah, logic because you talking about, yeah. um, what, rings and shit? If that's the case, Bill Russell to go. Who brought up rings? Who on this panel brought up rings? Y'all, y- y'all the one talking about No, 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 no. Specify, yeah, specify. Who said y'all? Brian, Mark, go ahead. That's what you said, He was not the best player on all 11 of them championship teams. He said, whoever said LeBron was the GOAT after 2016, I mean, I don't agree. But after 2016, oh. niggas was claiming he was the GOAT, right? That's yeah, what they were saying. saying right? That's what they were saying, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then um, you, you, your rebuttal to that was the rings. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. And my thing, my yeah, rebuttal, so even if that's the, the last case, person. Russell the GOAT. I, I, Let's be going down that road. Jump. I don't know if you're talking about me or Vegeta right now. Vegeta was the last one to say it, but I said it from the jump, too. And I'm gonna say this again about Bill Russell. Bill Russell was not the best player definitively. Yeah, that nigga was playing carpenters and plumbers, my nigga. Like, I well, don't I'm, not even, I'm not even going that far. I'm not saying who he was playing with the week. I'm just saying on his own team, he was not definitively the best player every time they won. All right, so That's the difference. my question is, what what makes Jordan better than LeBron overall as an overall, overall as a basketball player, player? Overall as a player, he's a greater scorer. No, he's not I mean, the greatest scorer. Players, we evaluate when he's we not a three level scorer though. He's not a three level scorer, is he? I mean, brother, I don't, brother, yeah, I don't agree brother, with, brother with the best scorer yeah, ever, but he's five, definitely top two. Hey, yo, I let him finish. finish. You ask me, I'm, I'm going to give you my answer. So just listen. Yes, I do believe he's a greater scorer. He's a greater scorer because number one in the regular season, I'm not even just looking at his points per game just by itself. I'm looking at his points per game that he was mm-hmm. bringing to the table for his team in comparison to his team's points per game. So I'm looking at the percentage of points that he's bringing to the table on the offensive end gotcha. for his own team right, in the so regular boom. season and the playoffs. When we go, when right, we so, go when we, so my thing is, can you can you say that the NBA today yo, yo, is yo, totally yo, yo, from yo, 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 stop doing that. Like, I know he's not saying that it's one thing, all right? Because if he's, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that Mark is not saying that Michael Jordan is the GOAT 
because he's a better scorer. You're not letting him get his whole answer off because you want to you want to narrow it down to one thing and you want to debate that one thing. Thank so you, let him get his whole answer off and then you can bait the whole thing instead of trying to debate one thing. So I broke down the scoring. Thank you, Freddie. I broke down the scoring already. I think when we evaluate two players as rebounders, to a degree, we have to do it by position. I think if you were to look at what Michael Jordan ranks at his position for shooting guards as a rebounder, he's higher up than LeBron James is as a small forward, at least in the regular season. But LeBron James does elevate his rebounding in the playoffs, so to a degree, I think that's debatable. LeBron's definitely a better passer. Michael Jordan's a better defender. Led the league in steals three times. Debatable. Has multiple seasons with over 200 steals and 100 blocks in the it's season. It's not debatable. LeBron James has never done either one of those things in a season. Michael mm-hmm. Jordan is the greatest defensive player in the league. Who is the greatest defensive player in the league? Let him talk. Let him talk. Y'all, y'all let the man finish? I'm breaking down every aspect of the game. Michael Jordan turns the ball over less than LeBron does. That's in his favor. As I was saying, Michael Jordan won a DPOY. He has won more MVPs. He did lead his team as the best player definitively to more championships and was awarded the finals MVP more times than LeBron. If we were to compare LeBron and Michael Jordan and see how many times they were outplayed in a playoff series throughout the, throughout the course of their career, whether it be a player on their team or the opposing team, I promise you on everything I love that's in favor of Michael Jordan again. When we, when we evaluate competition, people love to bring up just the finals. Let's talk about the playoffs in general. There's a stat called net rating that um, evaluates teams on offense and defense throughout the course of the regular season. If you look up the average net rating of the teams that Michael Jordan went against compared to LeBron, it is higher for Michael Jordan. It's not by a whole lot, but it is higher. So once again, everywhere you look in regards to who they are as a player individually, what they were able to accomplish, what they went against during mm-hmm. their time. Yes, I mean, not, you, is a better you definitely, player definitely make some good James. points. But my thing is, LeBron's played better um, players overall, like Hall of Famers. Appreciate it. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If we start, if we start listing the best players they went up against, I don't think you're going to even win I that. I mean, it's not, gonna, it's not going to be close. Oh. I'm saying. It's not going to look good for Jordan fans when you start comparing that. It's going to look great. You, you name the best player LeBron's going against. I'll name the then – then why are we not going to name the best Curry, player? Curry. Curry, KD, no, go one at, Clay. Go one at a time. Go one at a time. You name right. one, I'll name one. Go I ahead. Bet. Yes. All right, boom. KD. Larry Bird. Okay. Uh, Steph Curry. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson? Not, 1996 Magic Johnson. Old no. Mark Magic Johnson. No, no, 90, 91. Be quiet, Nathan. 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 I'm cooking. I'm cooking. You ain't cooking nothing. Be quiet. Be quiet. Nathan, Nathan, we're not talking about 96 Magic Johnson. We're talking about 91 and, and in general. We're talking that's about fine. No, that's fine. That's good. And you weren't even born at that time, so stop talking because you weren't even born, like you said. So be quiet. Tim Duncan. Shaquille O'Neal in the Robinson. Eastern Conference Finals. David I'm naming all the players in his era. David Robinson. <laughs> David Robinson? Right, who's actually probably better than Tim Duncan, but you're not going to know that because in his era he didn't win shit. Go ahead, though. Clay Thompson. Thompson? You're going to go that low? Reggie that Miller. Reggie Miller. Oh, no, what? No, we, no, we, Reggie Miller. I'm just naming Hall of Oh, Hold up. One second. Hold up. Who's another player besides Clay Thompson, bro? What was that? Dirk Nowitzki. Okay, yeah, I Barkley. wasn't done. Charles I Barkley. wasn't done. I was gonna keep going. Clay Thompson is not good enough. If you're gonna get to him, he's already, not a Hall of Famer. You're not gonna win. If you're gonna get to Clay Thompson already, that's like the fourth player you named. Bro, I promise you, bro, that's not I'm, gonna be the conversation. I'm, I'm naming the Hall of Famers. I'm sorry, they're not in order, my huh? D- are you good, brother? There's no, there's no disrespect. Da said, Da said, Reggie Miller, go ahead. I, you said one of y'all said Dirk. I said Charles Barkley. All right, said, boom. Hold on. What's uh, the what's the argument though? What's the, real quick? Nah, it's just, everybody's so I know everybody's so quick to say that the list of players LeBron's went against the best players are just so much. I'm talking about just strictly playoff. Oh, no, no. Playoff basketball. LeBron. They're going has player for player. Oh, you're talking about playoffs. So well, if, you, if you're only Jordan. doing ah, just, a, a, just to you're simplify, only doing playoffs, I can't use David Robinson. Then, if you're just doing take that, away, so take away the media, take away the media, because yeah, we already know LeBron James can edge off of longevity if that's what you value and jordan can edge off of being dominant six and zero, leading the league of scoring did it all first ever do it shoes it can be multiple things who do y'all who y'all picking up who y'all picking up just I, who y'all picking up like if you I mean, I pick got, up, who you I picking got, up who you starting the team no, Cho, hey hold on chosen hold on i got all the hall of famers that michael jordan has eliminated in the playoffs or the finals 
Well, D.A., go ahead and name him, man, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's we starting out, cause, and, and this guy, he, like, he just got added to the list not too long ago. Uh, Chris Weber, but Patrick Ewing, Jack Sigma, Charles Barkley, mm -hmm. Maurice Cheeks, Joe Dumars, Dennis Rodman, Isaiah Thomas, Vlade Divac, Magic Johnson, James Worthy, Clyde Drexler, Dominique Wilkins, Alonzo Mourning, Robert Parrish, Shaquille O'Neal, Gary Payton, Dikembe Mutombo, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Chris Mullen, Reggie Miller. And like I said earlier, now it's 22, Chris Weber, when he beat them. You chose to answer your question. I'm picking up Jordan. And hey, I would, I would, I would swap. I pick up LeBron. I would swap out. Uh, I would swap out Vladi for James Worthy. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Vladi is a. Vladi is a Hall of Famer, but I don't think he's an NBA Hall of Famer. I agree with that. No, I, mean, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Who y'all picking up though? Michael Jordan. Jordan easily. Hey y'all, I'm gonna keep it to me with y'all. Like LeBron, I give him credit and respect to what he's accomplished. So for me, I usually have him in my top three. But if we're playing that game, who we're going to pick up? Yeah. Bro, there's probably a handful of players I probably would pick up before LeBron. Crunch, like, why would really I pick go up? That route. Crunch, why would I pick hey, up LeBron? Hey, LeBron, hey, LeBron, hey, LeBron, hey, LeBron, hey, LeBron just going to quit on me. Why would I pick up? Hold on. Up? So, so wait a minute. Wait. Now, now I know, I know, bro, LeBron, man, they love, they love all time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know Bron fans love all time accumulative numbers. So, I'm going to use all time accumulative numbers. Michael Jordan has faced seven of the top ten sc all-time accumulative scores. Okay, not per game. Michael Jordan's went against nine of the top ten all-time block leaders. Okay, not per game. Michael Jordan's also went up against seven of the all-time se seven out of ten of the all-time assist leaders and eight out of the top ten all-time steals leader. But he didn't face no competition. Okay, I don't think y'all want to play that. No, game. I never that's, said that. See, you putting words in niggas' mouth. No <laughs> I didn't say nobody did, but said, whoever responded, better. the hit dog must be hollering. The hit dog is hollering to whoever responded because I never put a name on it. I think I think his point I, his point of that was saying y'all was naming players and he just named a, like a like very like they all just heard that shit right like it's obvious. Well, all, all like, we really know. getting at again is that the, the, no the players' that. argument is not going to really hold that much weight either because we can name a whole bunch of players Michael Jordan played against in the league he was in that's on par with these players too. And it's very and easy we all, to do. And like, we all could agree that the league is not the same as it was. It's high scoring today than it was eighties nineties. Well, the eighty, the eighty, no the same level the The eighties and early nineties was high, was relative guys, one, but what does that really? What does that mean exactly? You know. Who is the second best? Who is the second and third best player? Which at era? Position? Which when era? Is, which and era? Yeah, at, his position, at, at his position, it would be Clyde and probably uh, Mitch Richmond or Reggie Miller when he played. Bums! Bums! Oh, they're not bums. Oh, they're not bums. You say you can't. You, you cannot son. call nobody a bum. You never oh, seen hey, play. So be quiet. Day, but to be fair with you, instead of you just being yeah, no and saying they're bums, you could say that the oh, second shit. and third best small forward LeBron went against was better than them. Fine, but it's not just about who you went up against in your position. Yeah, because I'm fair about. I don't really care. I'm saying that it's not only about what you went up against in your position. It's who you are as a player in general compared to the overall competition in the league because Michael Jordan still had to offset other players that played another position on the other team. That's just a fact. Well, Jordan was just a selfish player. He always wanted the ball. LeBron literally so, so my, so, so my, uh, I guess my, my critique on this, if, we, lie, if we're okay. doing, if we're doing this by position, I mean, that is a lie, if we're doing this by position, we would say, oh. we would say that LeBron lost to Bruce Bowen in 2007. We would say that LeBron uh -oh. lost. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, but, if we were Nick, trying to do fuck? this by but position, that was Tim because, because we, because we under, and under, we understand, we understand that basketball is isn't simply by position. Fact. That's all I'm proving. And Correct. you're proving and you're proving that. So when we talk about who is the second and third best player at Michael Jordan's position, it's irrelevant because then if we're going by position, then I would say that then uh in 07 LeBron lost to Bruce Bowen. In 2011, he lost to uh, like, Sean like Marion. Like, like, no, I'm afraid so let me know. Again, no, he did. That's, why I, was I, to, that's so why I was trying to stop. So like, listen. So no, listen to what I'm saying <laughs> instead of being emotional. About I'm listening. I get so, what you're saying. So, so, so Marshall, listening. Marshall, chill out. Listen. All right. So what I'm saying is basketball is not simply by position. Right. So we can mm -hmm. all agree 
that it just because you lose to somebody or your position is inferior to you, that doesn't mean that the team was inferior. All right. So when you say that LeBron, if we gonna go 2015, he lost to Andre Iguodala, that would be disingenuous. You would say mm -hmm. that LeBron lost to like the best player on that team was Steph Curry, right? We would say that Klay Thompson was the second best player or Draymond Green. Like we we would say that these guys, like the fourth best player on that team or maybe fifth best player on that team would be Andre Iguodala. But if somebody wanted to be disingenuous, disingenuous in the argument, they would say that LeBron lost to Andre Iguodala. So when we're saying that how good was the people at your position? That's a disingenuous argument. That's all I'm saying. Yo, before you all move on to like much, Marshall, hold, MJ hold, was hold, seriously. Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Hendrick, because uh, Marshall said Michael Jordan was a ball hog, but how does a ball hog still have the highest assist average in the finals not named Magic Johnson? Like, well, how does that even make sense? You know, I mean, if you're going to pick a stat just out of a book like that, I mean, no, 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 I'm not picking a stat, bro. He averaged six for a career, too. He's just going to pick a stat, nigga, and then Robert is crazy. I ain't going to lie. LeBron fans love calling people ball hogs. You can break that down better because at the end of the day, you do know, you do know that you can be a player that racks up a lot of points and assists and still be a ball hog. Like LeBron mm -hmm. James at times, oh, like yeah, Russell yeah, for Westbrook, sure. yeah, like Luka yeah. Doncic, like yeah. James Harden. So you gonna like sit here and tell me but, Jordan hey, was but Mark, a but Mark, hold on, Mark, player. Mark. I know, ahead, I know his ahead, angle though. No, I know his angle. See, because he's trying to you. what he's trying to do. He's trying to indirectly give Scottie Pippen all the credit. And oh, it's wow. not Scottie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's simply, let's simply just ask him a question. What makes you think Michael Jordan's a ball? Oh, he already done left. Because <laughs> <laughs> all, 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 all I was easier and easier by the day. No, nah, it really do. It really do. All I was all I was gonna say was Michael Jordan averaged more assists per game than Scotty, and he has more total assists. So I don't understand how that's a ball hog, but okay. But like to add on to what uh, Dwayne was saying, like I don't think a ball hog is gonna like lead the assists, uh, lead, lead the league in uh, assists once he switched to like a point guard. Because like, didn't that happen like '89? I think. I mean, he's still a better. I mean, not even that. Looking at assists, he's still a better playmaker than he's the best playmaker of his era. Like, it's not even close. Yeah, but this is my thing. LeBron averages two on. more assists per game than Jordan. You said what, Crunch? You said LeBron the best. Hold on, Ezra, go ahead. I was saying like, okay, LeBron averages two more assists than Jordan mm -hmm. in his career. Like, I want to give him a cookie. Like, that's only two assists, bro. Well, not it, not well. Like, what's know. like y'all acting like this man Jordan averaged like one assist per game? Like, bro, just but cut yeah. it out. Yeah. I think I that think is not a LeBron, huge LeBron, difference. LeBron, that is not a LeBron. huge gap. Hey, cut who it. Who said LeBron that, averages hey, who, more assists? Hey, who said LeBron that LeBron averages was, uh, more assists than Jordan because he's played with better offensive help? Hey, somebody said LeBron was the best playmaker from his era. No, I said Jordan was. No, no Jordan. I mean, I Jordan is. Was the best playmaker from his era. Jordan, hold on. You think Jordan the best playmaker from his era? Yes. Yeah. Who better? I still don't like the hey, look. I still don't like the tick. Why? But no, nah, I would say I would say magic, right? I don't think. Well, no, nah, that's a better. Well, yeah, that's a better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a magic retire. Yeah, I can I mean, like, yeah, the that's 90s. a better. Yeah. yeah. The 90s, yeah, he's the best playmaker. I don't think I'm saying the 90s though, because magic was yeah. not the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. Everybody else, he's the best playmaker. And I think, and I said this again <laughs> to, uh, earlier to all them. Like uh, Josh and I said, who was a great playmaker in the 2010s outside of LeBron? Like all time great playmaker like that. Like in the top uh, of in the 2010s? Yeah. Curry. City, city, time, city, I mean, Paul. Well, I mean, Cliff Curry, Paul. I guess. Yeah. Degree, or Chris Paul, yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, CP3. Yeah, definitely Chris Paul. And I, think, yeah, yeah. And, I think Curry, and I think Curry from the early 2010s was a better playmaker than LeBron. Yeah, I was about to say, because if you said Westbrook, like, I would have said, said, said it was Rondo. Like yeah, 2013, 2014, Rondo. Yeah, that's a good one about Rondo. I'd say Rondo. Maybe, maybe Draymond, yeah, maybe Draymond. I got Rondo because Rondo got the two rings with it. So so it's like, okay, cool. Hey, type, type. I'll give it Rondo over Chris Paul. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nigga, crap, crap me up, bro. Oh, hey, 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 crunch. Hey, not, not, to, 
Like, like Chris, not to digress, but if, if Chris Paul able to take the Spurs to the playoffs, are you going to move him up or are you going to keep him in the same spot? Um, Where got Chris Paul at at the point guard list? All like, time, man. I got him like 18 now. Uh, top. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that, that is diabolical. No, that's like, that's, 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 that's diabolical. Hey, hey, listen, I, 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 come on, man. I do, crunch. Hey, crunch. I do I notice this Brand with like Lakers Paul, right? and Kobe fans. They hold, they hold that 2012 like veto trade against Chris Paul so much. I think they think that Chris Paul really vetoed that trade. I don't think. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, no, y'all be feeling the way man. about that shit. Uh, nah, what I my think man said eighteen though, no, bro. Like, it look like, 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 look like, like, where you got Chauncey Billups ranked at? That's oh, what if I it's got. Eighteen, then yeah, he's probably in the in, yes. the, in the in the low teens. I say, yeah, I got, yeah. I got Chauncey Chris probably right he probably like Chauncey top Billups. he probably like top eleven through hey, like Chris, like eleven yo, through fifteen. You started right? watching basketball in 09, right around that area. Uh, area? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, did you see the first? Did you remember when Chauncey Billups fried Chris Paul in 09? Who remembers that, bro? He, 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 he fried Chris Paul on the Nuggets. He fried Chris Paul on the Nuggets. He fried Chris Paul on the Nuggets. Yeah, game four, yeah. I was and in the that, 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 that wasn't even prime Chauncey neither. That wasn't Detroit Chauncey neither. Nah, he was going to If I, if I, I don't, I don't rank uh, Jerry West or Oscar because I haven't watched enough of them, but outside of that, he might be like top. He can arguably be like, the third best. I got, I got Chris Paul. There's too top many team, point bro. guards that really was hooping, bro. That I got, you got, you got Chris Paul top ten. Yeah, yeah. Point, top ten yeah, point. I got Chris, not all Chris Paul over Stockton. Yeah, I think Chris Paul better than Drew Holiday. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Bro. Yeah. 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 Wow. Like, 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 way like way better. Like way better. Like way better. Hold on, Chris Paul. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. This is hold on. Bro, y'all not even having a real conversation. Bro, like just move on to another conversation. Like, bro, because we're not even having a real one. Hold on. This is we're not even having a real conversation about this. Chris Paul is the unquestioned floor floor leader. We've seen him go raise mediocre teams. I mean, from the dungeons. And make right. them playoff teams. Drew Holiday is not doing it. But Drew Holiday is like he's a significant piece make you... to a championship team, though. That's the difference. Yeah, like that's the thing. I think Drew Holiday can make you a championship team. Oh Chris Paul, God. when he's the first option, when Chris Paul as a third out. option, as a third option, <laughs> yeah. like Drew Holiday do as the first option. Chris Paul can't even do that as a third option. Yeah, no, what? He, he, I mean, I'm, I'm Chris Paul with third option. Why you making him a third option? He still can't win. Hey, yeah, so crunch. Oh, Wait a minute. Man. So crunch. Hold on, crunch. The veto never gets. It never. I mean, the trade never gets vetoed. What's the outcome then? Then, yeah. uh, then, then it's like the Lakers win like two rings. I think. Nah, they're they not. Shit. He be. Be, be. How do the Lakers win two rings when Chris Paul can't do anything? He be good because he probably wouldn't have got dropped by Curry like that. Now you playing with Kobe? If Kobe can take Paul Gasol, if Kobe can win with Paul Gasol, then you know I think Chris Paul he'd have been like on a Jason Kidd type of level then maybe. In 2012? No, I'm saying yeah, all-time ranking with them rings on his record. So, no, no, just just, just think about it. In 2012, I want to say Chris Paul finished as, like, a top five MVP candidate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it probably was 2000, probably 2013 and 14 as well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. So, we, we're going to say, we're going to say that somebody who finished as top five in MVP voting is worse than somebody who's never got an MVP vote in his life. Probably not even in college. Chris Paul over Jason Kidd. I'm talking about we talking about Chris Paul over um over Drew Holiday. But yeah, I do have Chris Paul. But I do have Chris Paul over Jason. What I meant by that, like even though like I'm saying, when you look at Chris Paul's scoring numbers, it's really the same thing as Drew Holiday for the most part. Yeah, but that's not just the strongest part of his game. Yeah, the strongest part of his game is not just scoring. But the strongest part of Drew Holiday's game is defense. It is. It is. But we didn't. We didn't really. We didn't really see that. We didn't really see that defense until like, later. You got Bill yeah, we didn't see that defense until later. I would, got, I would say that him and I would say that him and Rondo, him and Rondo did lock up uh, Drew and I'm uh, not Drew, Dame, uh, Dame and CJ, yes, Dame and again. CJ. Say so, I, <laughs> like, nah, let me show, let me show. But, hey, bro, I'm from where? New Orleans, so <laughs> <laughs> listen. <laughs> nah, I, I, I rock it with the pill. So yeah, they they lock their ass up. Um, but hey, so, in, in so, reality, oh, like okay. we know, we know when, now, when it comes down to I, Drew, we I not we not gonna lead you into anything. I completely anything. know that oh, conversation, dog. I completely know that Chris Paul is, is oh, wait, better Rondo than shits. Like, a, a bunch of point guards, but I, he, he, he better than CP3. He, he, he just not. He just not. Oh, he not shit. Fuck you, Rondo shits. He better than CP3. Well, he's not better than CP3. And he got two rings. 
One of them was off the bench. Imagine playing for right, almost 20 years bench. and don't have a ring yet and been on multiple different teams. Uh, so uh, imagine uh, being uh, in the best uh, situation. Don't, don't, come in, don't come in here with that. Hey, so imagine, 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 imagine being teamed up with multiple different superstars. That sounds literally just like Rondo's whole career, damn near. That's why he got successful. I don't know why he's saying that. Every time he was matched up with a superstar in that case, he did. He was successful and he won rings with these superstars. Chris Paul has never done that. He's never done one option on his team. When was Rondo was when was Rondo the man? Never. Chris Paul left. When they left, left and they didn't even make the playoffs. Thirty, bro. Twenty five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Chris Paul was not the man. It was Blake. Didn't Griffin. they? Didn't they? Didn't oh, they pay Rondo to stay on the bench? Hey, Blake Griffin. Didn't Dallas pay Rondo to stay on the bench. No. Man, <laughs> I think Dallas paid Rondo to stay on the bench. That's because Dallas and that's because they had disagreements with. Wait, when has uh, Rondo ever been the man though? When it wasn't Rondo because of the, the players. He hasn't. He hasn't. Who? When has Rondo ever been the man? Um, when has Chris Paul been the man? Uh, the, the, the 2008. What did that get him? 2016. 2008 well, to 2016. Rondo done shit. What did that bring them? So, so, so then, so then you got to go into when they when they were like less of a less than the number one option, right? So there were just players on the team that can contribute. Chris Paul. Well, no, but Rondo never was the one option, so he doesn't count. Like wait, what, that's wait, wait, like wait, we were. Chris Paul wasn't on Thunder? a winning team when so, no, we were one option. So, so it you're matter. so yeah, no, you can't you can't compare somebody. You can't you can't say like okay, well Andrew yeah, Wiggins. Yeah, is, Rondo, you can't say you can't. Andrew you're Wiggins is better than than Melo because Andrew Wiggins won a ring. Right. You can't. You can't say the, that because the thing is, is Andrew like, Wiggins better the, than Melo? At the time, at the time, no. is, is, no. is, is Wiggins the, better than Melo? Hell no. At the time, at the Wiggins time, got a hell. ring. It, Wiggins got a ring. At the, at the time, Rondo, at the time exactly. Rondo and CP3 came in at the at around the same amount of time, so it's a different comparison. Go past the slide. Um, so then from there, so then from there, while Rondo was being a third or fourth option, he was during that time. Get some more yarn. Tashim, get some more yarn to spin. That's not gonna work up here. Y'all, y'all not saying nothing for Chris Paul other than he. Hey, you. He, he uh. Hey, you. Hey, he you was, was a politician. Let's election season over. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Talk about, talk about. Wait, wait, Freddie. Hold on. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Freddie. Hold on, Tashim. Real quick, real quick. Tashim, what happened with? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Tashim, what happened with Rondo? Hold on, hold on. Tashim, what happened with Rondo on the Kings? Chris Paul took every team to the playoffs. What happened with Rondo? Um, so if we know if we know about the Kings, that was a dying organization at the oh, time. Bro. Um, see, he see, made, see, he, see, he, see. He, he oh, actually, he actually, wait, wait, <laughs> Wait, wait. Uh, he actually, I, I, thank he you, Glock. Thank you, Glock. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sasha. Go ahead. He actually, uh -huh. he actually elevated Demarcus Cousins and what it came uh -huh. to be at that time to be the best center uh -huh. in the uh -huh. league that year. Uh -huh. um, so in that case, no, y'all let it finish. Case, let it finish. It's hard to, it's hard to determine. It's hard to uh -huh. determine success when that whole organization uh -huh. was trash. Now uh -huh. think about this. Uh -huh. Now think about this. When Rondo, when Rondo was on that team, and then when he went to the Pelicans with mm -hmm. Anthony, when Anthony Davis and Demarcus Cousins, they mm -hmm. also had some of their best years uh, of their career. Anthony Davis mm -hmm. was an MVP candidate with Rondo. Demarcus I'm, Cousins, I'm, that I'm talking about the Kings, Rondo, sir, actually, sir, 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 Kings, 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 sir, Kings. Kings. I just want, I just yes, want yes, Tashina, I just want Tashina to tell me if, if uh, so, so the, so if, the Kings, so Tashina, the do you think Kings, the Celtics the still winning that chip if they got CP3 instead of Rondo? That's how I say, shut the fuck uh, up. I think CP3 would have got injured, so no. Hey, hey, Mark, Mark, right, I'm so blocking him. Hey, Mark, he Mark, I'm blocking him. I'm trying, I'm trying to see how long it's gonna take him to answer my question. So I got him on the stop clock. Oh, so, so what I was, what I was answering is, is that the the King, the the was wrong with the Kings was if you go down that uh that lineup and it was one of those organizations like the Wizards are now. Where they just uh -huh. send players uh, when they don't really like okay. them. So in OKC that case, was worse. Wait, 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 wait. We, we, we know uh -huh. we know how bad that organization was is because yep. they, they, was worse. they traded they traded Demarcus Cousins or an All Star. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you know, just, all just aside, can I ask you a question? Let's just you know I like to always do things this way. Let's just go let me, let me stop. Let me, so let me stop the watch. He came in the league in 07, right? Nah, fuck you. Yeah. You be disrespectful, Tyson. Fuck all that. Nah, he came. Nah, Mark. Nah, oh, Mark. He came in 06. Oh, he came in 06. No, you nah, can't. He came in 06. Nah, you can't. I mean, nah, nah, fuck that nigga, bro. Fuck him. Hey, Mark. 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 Oh, so what I was saying was, is like the Kings organization, if you look at the lineup on that organization, they were never oh, going to be successful. I was trying to get somewhere with you, though, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. 
You don't even got to explain that right now. So starting in 06 when Rondo came in, was he a better point guard than Chris Paul? No. Uh, first year, no. What What about 07? No. <laughs> so when did he become a better player? I don't know why you take us so long to answer right now. I thought y'all were going to keep going. 2008. No, when did you think he became a better point guard than Chris Paul? No, Tashima, I pause uh, because so I'm, I'm think, waiting on my I think, I, So actually, so this is my thing. <laughs> so this is my thing. I think Chris Paul, when it came to his scoring ability I on the outside, this, what this you this you you to to when did he become hey. a better point guard than Chris Paul? <laughs> Hold on, Mark, Mark, you're doing a couple of hairs. In 2010. He ain't going to answer that question. In 2010, 2011, that's when the shift came and Ronald was better than CP3. He wasn't better in twenty. So if you thought what? if you thought that in twenty ten eleven he was better, right, right. what Peter about Carr eleven Avenue. and twelve? Did, did eleven he and twelve. Better? That's what. Hey, eleven and twelve. He was better. All right, we chat a little bit. We chat a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Can I ask y'all a quick question? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. CP three when it came when he got when he got in during that trade and they got this team. What they did was they 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 made Chris Paul. Of course, he was the the primary playmaker. He wasn't their primary scorer. Blake Griffin was. When you go to the other people, he had multiple different scorers around him. In 2011, 2012, Rondo was still playing with Rondo. Rondo was still playing with Rondo was still playing with an old Kevin Garnett and an old Paul Pierce that were on their way out the door. That was that next year. That that mediocre defense. I got this right. I got to hold up. Hey, by the way, by the way, the the defense wasn't mediocre actually. When you Look it at, was. When you look uh, at the, uh, when you uh, look Senator, at the personnel between him and, Senator, and Avery Senator, Bradley the next year, Senator Shane, Shane, Bradley was very really elite. playing in 2012. Senator Shane, my question is, I just want to know when Tashi will stop chatting. In 2012, Rondo wasn't even better than Westbrook. What are you talking about? should have hired Tashi. Maybe she would have won. What? Hey, maybe. But hey, but listen, listen. This is this is my thing. Actually, in 2012, in 2012, this is the thing. This nigga Tashim will allow a free face. Scoring aspect you can give to other people. NBA option was because. But when you're talking about when you're talking about playmaking, hey y'all, don't forget about DJ man. He had a point too. He was the best now playmaker saying, in the league. Listen, bro, you conflating two different things, right? He was you the can, best defender. Point I'm guard saying you can be a time. star in your role on a championship team. That doesn't mean you're better to another player that isn't on a championship team. Well, so Chris Paul's never been that. a star. No, Chris Paul's never been example, a star on Drew, the championship team. I'm saying, but for example, Drew Holiday is is true. He's better on that team. I'm saying production wise than Dame is, but he ain't a better player than Dame. Uh, he just, he's, he's better than Dame. He's, we he's gotta not stop playing Dame. He can't uh, he be. Bring, hold on, hold on. He he's not be. better. He's not better than Dame, but he brings better value than Dame. Yeah, so, so you can you can add Dame. value to a great team. That means you're better than the player, though. Wait, let me like, ask you a question. What is Dame uh, besides scoring? What is Dame is better? Well, besides than, scoring, scoring is a big deal. Okay, okay, but here's my thing. When we're talking about the scoring aspect, Drew Holiday isn't getting as many touches like. Then at the next one. Oh, nah, we're not doing you, that. When you go, when you go, when you go, wait, 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 we yeah, so was this. so was so was Damian Lillard. What are we saying? Hold nah, on, nah, hold nah, on, nah, 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 you, Damn. nah, we not about to touch you, touch you. You touch me, hold on. What, what, wait, not what? Not DJ lie. saying? Hey, right. DJ, correct me if I'm wrong. Hold on, what you saying? Hold on, hold on, touch him. Hold on, hold on, touch him. At least Damian Lillard building a brick house is the number one option. You would rather have Damian Lillard. This nigga Drew Holiday is building a brick house as the third scoring option. Yeah, when you're building a franchise, you ain't gonna start with Drew. You're not gonna do that. You already have a franchise, and you add Drew. Then yes, you're gonna be a championship team. I'm not starting my start. organization so, with, with. I'm be honest with you. Lillard. I don't even know if Drew Holiday was better than Brooke Lopez when they played together. So wait, that wait, wait, Tashim, hold on, hold on, Tashim, hold on. When when Drew Holiday was the second, wait, when he was the second option, how far did he go? Because we seen we seen Dame get to the Western Conference Finals as the number one option. Ah, uh, no, we're but not doing that. I ain't gonna hold you. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no, Daniel, no, I'm just asking, I'm, asking, I'm just asking nah, about. Nah, I'm just trying to see a sequence though. Bricks building bricks that whole. No, I agree. No, no, I agree. He was. Let me let me let me dash all this. So when I said the, besides scoring, the reason why I said that is because Damian Lillard oftentimes, especially in the playoffs, shoots like shit. So when you go you past the score, what, what else does he say. bring? What else does he bring no, to the no, team? No, no, Tashim, Not Tashim. Much. Drew Not Holiday much. brings better value to a team for, based on based on his ability to facilitate, pass the ball, and play perimeter defense for sure. That's but he's better. not individually a better player than Damian Lillard. 
But the thing is, y'all not giving me more information on Dame. What Dame, do, what Dame brings is he's he's a little lack in the playmaking. He's not you a good. You can bring player. better value than somebody and not be not, necessarily a better, better player than him, bro. Yeah, yeah, so wait, so wait, Tashim, who better? In these, in these arguments, hey, you don't have to be you don't have to be an elite scorer to be better exactly. than somebody. So at well, the, the problem I'm having, the problem I'm having with this whole conversation, right? Is we've like in my opinion, when we talk about Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, based on how he's performed offensively in the last what season that he's been with when he's been with Boston, y'all are looking at that and thinking that that's where he's been for the majority Alive of his career. When in fact, offensively, Arrived. that nigga has never really been that good of a scorer as far as when he was actually expected to win championships. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons they they were so willing to to trade his ass from the Bucks because he was such an awful fucking scorer. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually, really because, the it's actually because they put him in the second position when he wasn't even. That's what he to got paid there. to do, bro. Exactly. But the thing is, but the thing is, when you throw in Drew Holiday, when you're supposed to have Chris Middleton as your second option, and these other guys, and you say, "Hey, Drew, go give me 25," that's not realistic. They wanted they wanted Drew Holiday to go out there and get them 25 points per game. That's not realistic. But we just we just players we just wait, wait, we just wait, wait, what, players no. on the same we what just players on the same up. level doing what the same Drew doing Holiday the same thing. What Drew so I'm saying no. I'm saying in order in order to judge players fairly, you can't say that Drew Holiday is a better third option. Then Dame is a first option. You can't do that. I think you can't like if we're if we're judging him, we're either judging him by first option or we're judging him by third. No, 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 Freddie. Hold on, hold on, Freddie. I think you can say that. I don't think that fits this argument that Tashim is trying to make it fit because what he's trying to do is he's trying to say that because the value Drew Holiday brings as a defender on the perimeter in a greater in a greater team defense makes him better than a person like Dame. Once again, Drew Holiday is not the only defender on all these teams that he's actually playing on. He's a good, he's a good defender that brings elite defensive value to the Bucks because you have another defender in Giannis who's magnificent as a help defender, and yes, you have a rim protector, have a rim protector and Brooke Lopez. Yeah, he his his value with the he Pelicans, brings, yeah. his value that he's bringing, his value that he's bringing, you making Glock point though? The fact no, that not. he's playing yeah. next to great defenders. Yes, you is. Let me ask y'all this. You talking about? Hold on. You talking about the Pelicans? You mean he played next to fucking Anthony Davis? Eighty, eighty, and Boogie, exactly. And yes, wait, wait, you making yes, this point? Wait, wait, yes, yeah. and he was, and he when he comes to their perimeter defensive, you can, you can say that Rondo. Hold on, hold on. You, can that, you can say that during that time, Drew Holiday was their best defender. Now, hey, 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 I hold on, let me cook. 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 Let me when no. you go to the Bucks, there's no coincidence that when uh, when he hey, went hey, to Chelsea, that team we as well, because I'm saying, like, bro, you're not, even, well, you're was, not even you're not even saying like the stuff that you need to say for fucking saying, Drew Holiday. Yeah, you know, it's obvious. Hold up, it's obvious. Chris Paul has the strongest argument, but you're not even we bringing up the, the fucking office. haymaking points that you need to for like Drew what? Holiday to win the wait, conversation. Wait, like what? Like no, what? you do it. You don't want the debate, nigga. You just yapping, nigga. Because I you just yapping. You're not answering questions. I said it. I chose him. He's speaking in Japanese, nigga. I'm the nigga who started this shit. I fucking started this conversation. Once again, when you have Damian I, I Lillard, when you, have Damian, when you have Damian Lillard you and, you, day, and he's not having a good shooting night, he is basically worthless. That's the thing about true. Drew Holiday is he brings so much more to the game, which means he can be better than Damian Lillard. Damian oh, Lillard is in a different no, position. Wait, no, no, no. There's it's other players, there's players, right, that, there's players that are better than people, and other people just have a number one option. So, so this is my problem, right? When you say shit like that, where was this nigga at? in 2022 against Boston when they when they <laughs> went to game seven and lost. Damn near his entire career. Where has he been at? Say it again. What was this nigga Drew Holiday's value at? In we game, didn't have him. We didn't have him. We didn't have him. No, when he was oh, on the bus. The talk about when he was on the bus. You see, the problem is you're trying to compare oh. this nigga as a fourth or you, fifth I thought you, option. Wait, wait, wait. You're trying to compare this nigga us. to a fourth or fifth option. I thought you meant, thought you meant us. That's literally why. That's to somebody else who's literally a number one or two option. That's and not I what I'm that comparing. You can't, hold on. I think that you can't cross compare options like that. Not in this case because this nigga is literally a part of a greater, a greater defensive unit. He's on the Boston Celtics that's surrounded with great defenders. He's not even the best, a top two defender on his team. What are we talking about? Who? Drew Holiday Dwight's is better than him, yo. What are we no, talking he's about? Not, he's not, bro. Y'all have white. wait. First of all, yo, first of all, that yo, is Derek White's better than him, bro. He's, he's not better than Derek White. Dog. Derek White's better than him, bro. Hold on, not gonna lie. Let me get this out. Derek White is a great defender. He is not better than Drew Holiday. What? Yo, he's not. No, he's bro. 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 I watch, did I watch these games? Hey, bro. You hey, have to, hey, wait, 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 wait,
So the reason, and this is a big reason why, you understand that when Drew Holiday, especially his point of attack defense, they had him on all the all the players that were necessarily scores throughout the playoff last year. Derek White is a great defender. I don't know if he's necessarily there to Drew Holiday's defense yet. I'm not saying he's far off, but he's not better than than Drew Holiday. And by the way, no, he's clearly kind of quite. Wait, wait, wait. When you talk about those, lie. those two are the oh, best gosh. defenders on our team anyway. So when you're saying he's that, not hey, he's not. He said, he's, he's not better than Tatum. Like, you don't about. know what you're talking about. He's not better than you Tatum. Think Drew's the, better no, than Tatum. Yes, yes, yes. He's better than Tatum. All right, bro. Okay. Type shit. What okay. makes Jason Tatum a better defender hey. than Drew? Y'all have no clue what you're talking about. No, I'm not going to say better player. You said better player, bro. You said better player. No, I said defender. We've been talking about defense. What are you saying? You said defender. You said defender. You said You said that Drew is not arguably not. No, you said no. You said better player. No, no, no. You said better player, bro. I'm not going to hold you. You said Drew might not be. Bro, I have no problem being wrong, brother. You said better player. That's why people in the comments are pushing back Wait, wait, on didn't, didn't Glock just say defense? I know he just said defense. He said, he said, I know for, he said, Drew Holiday is not even the second or third best defender on his team. That's exactly what, what you said. I thought that's what you were talking about, I ain't gonna lie. I thought that's what you were talking about, I ain't gonna lie. That's exactly what you said. I don't think he said either. Said. But even huh? that, he's still not. Even that, he's still not. He's still he's not. Right? Very yes, he he's is, not bro. Bro. No, no, who's not. better than him? Who's better than him? Jason Derek Tatum. White, Jason Tatum. And Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Yeah, and Porzingis, and Porzingis, and Derek White. They're better than Okay, bro, and look, we're going to have a difference of opinion on that. I ain't going to lie to you. It's not an opinion. I think, he has, I think he has some magnificent. A, I, think what, I think what he brings as a perimeter defender and as, like, the fifth scoring option on that team is great value. But we're not about to sit here and act like your, your production because they minimized him in his role and put him literally as the fourth or fifth option. And you're trying to tell me that when we seen this nigga as the number two option have a majority of the responsibility, he completely underperformed every single fucking time. He's when was he against Boston in 2022? When was he against Miami scorer. in 2023? He's not, he's not doing that shit, bro. He's, he's not. not. The, he's I'm not sorry. The greatest I'm sorry. Scorer, he's not doing that, bro. He's not better than Tatum. He's not better than aspects. fucking Derek White. I'm sorry. He it is, is what it is. He's a better I, defender I, than both sorry, of those. You don't know what you're talking about. He's a better defender right, than both I don't know what I'm talking about. Cool. He's Thank a better you. defender than I'm, both I'm, of those. Hey, I, it's, it's the one time I'm really going to bask in the fact that I don't know what I'm talking about. I know. Turn it's, it's, it's okay, though. I'm comfortable with that. This is what I'm here for. Anyways, not. So I'm comfortable with that. This is what I'm here for. So Drew Holiday is the best defender on his team. Actually, when you go back to the Bucks, if you actually break that break that team down and you realize what they're actually bring to the defensive end, you could argue he was one two deep defender on that team as well. So when you're talking about defense, or maybe it's just defense, the fact that the perimeter defense that they oh, lack now is that, was a greater value to be actually some of the best concept of the yeah, team bro. defense. Or, so he's, bro. so, he's, so he's, not playing, he's not playing. He's not playing one on one point of attack defense. All the time. That's not what he's doing. That's not the type of. No, no, but you're not. You're saying shit that nobody's saying. What I'm saying, listen, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to politic your way out of this shit. What I'm I'm saying is this: Drew Holiday's value and what he brings from a defensive standpoint is great value. It's awesome. It actually, it actually does. 